हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू फूड टेक गीग्स वेर आई रचना शर्मा अपलोड वीडियोज लेक्चर्स टूटोरियल्स कैरियर गाइडेंस वीडियोज एंड एग्जाम रिलेटेड वीडियोज ऑन फूड साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी सो वी हैव स्टार्टेड दिस सीरीज स्पेशली फॉर सी बी टी टू एग्जाम ऑफ एफ एस एस सी आई दो दी एम सी क्यूज विल हेल्प यू इन एवरी अदर एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ फूड टेक्नोलॉजी बट दी वेराइटी ऑफ क्वेश्चन आर बींग कवर्ड बाय टेकिंग कंसिडरेशन ऑफ सी बी टी टू एग्जाम एज दैट विल कवर योर सिंगल करेक्ट ऑप्शन एम सी क्यूज मल्टीपल करेक्ट ऑप्शन एम सी क्यूज फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स ट्रू फॉल्स कॉम्प्रीहेंशन बेस्ड क्वेश्चन सो वेराइटी ऑफ क्वेश्चन विल बी कवर्ड इन सी बी टी टू सो दिस सीरीज विल कवर ऑल द वेराइटी ऑफ क्वेश्चन एंड आई हैव गॉट गुड रिस्पॉन्स ओवर द प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑफ दिस सीरीज सो इट इज़ गुड दैट यू आर लाइकिंग द वीडियो एंड इट इज प्रूविंग यूजफुल फॉर यू सो नाउ लेट स्टार्ट विद आर सेकेंड वीडियो ऑफ द सीरीज सो विदाउट फर्दर ड्यू लेट स्टार्ट आर सेकेंड वीडियो क्वेश्चन नंबर वन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज एन एडवांटेज ऑफ फूड प्रोसेसिंग अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ सीजनल फूड्स थ्रू आउट द ईयर रिमूवल ऑफ टॉक्सिन एंड प्रिजर्विंग फूड फॉर लॉन्गर एड्स एक्स्ट्रा न्यूट्रिय टू सम फूड आइटम्स एड्स एम्प्टी कैलरीज टू फूड कंस्टिट्यूइंग जंक सो इट्स अ सिंपल क्वेश्चन वॉट आर द एडवांटेजेज ऑफ फूड प्रोसेसिंग सो वी नो दैट फूड प्रोसेसिंग हैज मेड इट ईजी अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ द सीजनल फूड्स थ्रू आउट द ईयर एंड इट ऑल्सो हेल्प्स इन द रिमूवल ऑफ टॉक्सिन्स एंड अनवॉन्टेड सब्सटांसिस फ्रॉम द फूड सिस्टम एंड इट ऑल्सो हेल्प्स इन एडिंग एक्स्ट्रा न्यूट्रेंट्स लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन इनरिचमेंट ऑफ फूड और फोर्टिफिकेशन ऑफ फूड सो ऑल दीज आर द करेक्ट ऑप्शन ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन आर ऑप्शन ए बी एंड सी next question so here two statements are being given and we have to find out which one is true and uh, which one is false and the statement one is cost reduction trend of the food industry often leads manufacturers to forget the health aspect of the food although health itself is another important trend of the food industry and the statement two says food processing industries nowadays is also looking into energy efficiency methods to process food hence it's an upcoming trend so very basic and general uh, statements are being given so you know that uh, for the purpose of cost reduction there are many manufacturers who are uh, divert to certain uh, shortcuts which are really not appreciable so yes due to uh, that purpose in their mind they can have uh, something which is at the cost of health aspects so yes statement 1 is true and statement 2 is also true as uh, the main focus of the food industries is to process more and more food with uh, energy efficiency to get more output to get a better output that is one of the major uh, trend in the food industry so both the statements are true next question another uh, condition is being given xyz company takes its customer feedback very seriously hence when suggestions such as food processed product should have minimum loss of actual flavor no added color etc the company planned on shifting to the latest trend in the industry called and the various options are given minimal optimization minimal processing both and none so hope the question is being clear to you uh, that people are or the customers are demanding for the food products which are having a greater shelf life but they are having uh, sensory attributes more like of a fresh food like there should be no uh, more flavor loss the color should be like the original one the natural food so for that purpose the industries are adapting a new uh, method or i don't say a new it is uh, in the process for a long time so the process is minimal processing as the name suggest minimal processing the food should be processed in such a way that a minimal uh, heat treatment or minimal harsh treatments are given to the food so that there is a less loss of uh, color flavor and taste aroma everything so that is why the term is being known as minimal processing and there are various number of methods which comes under minimal processing so basically the main purpose of minimal processing is not to give harsh treatment to the food so that the uh, nutritional composition and the sensorial attributes of the food can be preserved so this is basic uh, principle of minimal processing next question another uh, two statements are being given and we have to find out which one is true and false statement one says advanced oxidation process converts non biodegradable organic materials into biodegradable organic forms 
so a statement over advanced oxidation process is being given statement 2 says advanced oxidation processes are non environmental friendly so you can see that both the statements are contradictory to each other so obviously one will be true and the other one will be false so the right answer to this is option b statement 1 is true advanced oxidation process helps in conversion of non biodegradable uh, substances into biodegradable substances so as statement 1 is true so automatically statement 2 will be false because if advanced oxidation process helps in converting non biodegradable into biodegradable so obviously it's a environmental friendly process so now let's see what exactly is advanced oxidation process so basically as the name suggest advanced oxidation so basically it's a oxidation process and a slightly higher or advanced version so in this what we do uh, basically this uh, is used in the treatment of waste water the waste water which is being generated by food industries or various chemical industries they are uh, treated under this process advanced oxidation so here the oxidation is being carried out through the reaction with hydroxyl radicals and due to this advanced oxidation the non biodegradable materials get converted into uh, simpler inorganic compounds like water carbon dioxide and various salts which are not very harmful so therefore it is a uh, Uh, environment friendly process in which non biodegradable waste is being converted into biodegradable waste and it can help to uh, tackle the problem of waste water and various toxins being released by uh, various industries uh, next question which of the following are not key constraints of the food processing industry so you know that there are certain limitations of food industry so here we have to find out which of the following is not a limitation of the food industry and the options are inadequate quality control high packaging cost low demand poor infrastructure as in no cold storage warehouse etc so you can find out what are the various limitations so a easy question we know that inadequate quality control is one of the major uh, limitation of the food industry high packaging cost is also uh, a major limitation all the various industries or various companies are working over reducing the cost and they look for the Uh, packaging material only how they can reduce the cost from the uh, packaging material so yes that is also one of the major limitation of food industries low demand uh, do you think that we are having a low demand of food products or no it is not a limitation of food uh, food industry we are having a high demand of processed food or we can say generally food so option c is the correct answer because it is not a limitation of food industry and the last option poor infrastructure as in no cold storage warehouse etc yes it is one of the limitation in our country we are having slightly uh, poor infrastructure so yes that is a uh, uh, one of the limitations so option c is the correct answer here you can see various Uh, barriers or limitations uh, at different levels be it the uh, farm level or the production level then the manufacturing level and the distribution level and at the consumer level so at, at every level of the supply chain we are having certain limitations all these being are given here you can see them next question fill in the blanks irradiation is also known as dash sterilization so irradiation is a process of food preservation and this is also known as cold sterilization so why it is so before that let's first understand what exactly is irradiation so in irradiation what we use we use certain uh, ionizing radiations for example x rays gamma rays so these rays are being uh, used over the food and these rays helps in the preservation of the food and how they do so they are having direct impact or indirect impact on the food and they destroy the microorganisms various enzymes various chemicals which uh, promote the deterioration of food so that's how irradiation helps in the preservation of food and this is the sign of irradiation so every food which is being irradiated will have this logo and this logo has a special name that is radura and irradiation is known as cold sterilization because you know in cold sterilization what we do we uh, destroy all the libel cells we uh, we destroy all the spores so we are getting the same effect 
from irradiation but in sterilization a high temperature is being uh, achieved but that is not so in irradiation in irradiation we destroy all the microorganisms we destroy the enzymes we uh, destroy the chemicals but we are not attaining a very high temperature so we are having the effect of sterilization without the heat and that's why it is known as cold sterilization hope it's clear to you uh, next question fill in the blanks again fish are classified based on their fat content so you must have seen there are variety of fish lean fish and the uh, fatty fish so what exactly is the percentage of fat in the lean fish and the fat fish so the right answer is 2% in the range of 2% is the fat content in lean fish and approximately around 5% is the fat content in the fatty fish so these type of compositional based questions can, are important uh, with respect to the exam any type of such question can be asked be it in uh, protein content of various uh, food or the uh, moisture content or the fat content in milk or various creams like plastic cream table cream etc so these type of questions are important with respect to exam and we can have a look over the explanation as well so these are the various categories of fish lean fish medium fatty fish and fatty fish so basically medium fatty fish is always been considered under fatty fish only so broadly there are two categories lean fish and fatty fish and the various examples are also being given so have a look over these next question find the incorrectly matched pair so uh, uh, different pairs have been given you have to find out which one is being wrongly matched so seracea drug addiction spirulina single cell protein rhizobium biofertilizer streptomyces antibiotic so all the uh, pairs have been correctly matched except option a that is seracea drug addiction seracea is a gram negative anaerobic bacteria and it is a food spoilage causing bacteria it uh, can cause spoilage in a number of food products be it fruit juices fish bakery products etc so this is not a, uh, related to drug addiction but it is a food spoilage causing microorganism and single cell protein you all are very well aware of what exactly is single cell protein so it is a high concentrated protein source which can be microbiologically produced from algae fungi yeast and bacteria who are having high protein content in their myomas so single cell protein are those and rhizobium you know that rhizobium is a biofertilizer so biofertilizer are those substances that has some microorganisms uh, which when applied to the soil increase the uh, fertility of the soil and that is why they are known as biofertilizers you can go by the term as well biofertilizers and rhizobiums are present in the nodules of leguminous plants here you can see the structure these nodules are from the leguminous plants and these are containing uh, uh nitrogen fixation bacteria uh, so these help in uh, fixing the nitrogen in the soil hence increase the uh, fertility of the soil so therefore uh, yes rhizobiums are biofertilizers and streptomyces is a gram positive bacteria and they produce certain secondary metabolites these microorganisms produce secondary metabolites so the what are these secondary metabolites there are different metabolites which are being produced by various microorganisms during their life cycle so they are broadly classified as primary metabolites and secondary metabolites so primary metabolites as the name suggest primary means the main so primary metabolites are those metabolites which are directly important for their growth development the reproduction so for their uh, important uh, functions these metabolites are important therefore they are known as primary metabolites while the secondary metabolites are those which are being produced by these microorganisms but they are not directly important for their uh, normal processes so some of the secondary me metabolites which are being produced by some of the microorganisms can act as antifungal or antiviral anti tumoral anti hypertensive antibacterial so therefore they can be used by us as antibiotics next question which of the following microorganism have high vitamin content and options are bacteria yeast algae protozoa so out of all these yeast is the one having highest vitamin content and it has vitamin b1 b2 b3 b5 b6 b9 vitamin h and b7 so almost all vitamins are present in yeast so it is having high vitamin content next and the last question of the video perhaps you have eaten a dash 
a product manufactured as substitute for other and the options are given oh the answer has also been given here analog formed food manufactured food and substitute so here the answer is option a analog so what exactly is a analog so analog means uh, that it has been manufactured as a substitute for the other food and the most common example of this is meat analog you all must have uh, heard this term and being a food technologist this term must not be a unknown term to you so meat analogs what exactly it means it is substituting the meat basically it is not a meat product but it is substituting the meat product on the basis of its flavor its texture and mouth feel so this is the uh, definition of a analog so analog means it is a substitute of any food item and the basic example is meat analog where we are uh, creating the meat like structure meat like flavor from plant based proteins so this is the definition of analog and a common example so yes with this we have covered another 10 set of questions so stay tuned for more i'll be coming up with more such videos and important questions uh, share this video with your friends and classmates and stay tuned till then stay safe stay healthy thank you